Hi, I'm Don. Today we're painting another RM printable miniature. Today we are force painting lava on this very nice golem miniature. So watch the video as we turn this mini into this. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Also, this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. In the intro, I said we are force painting lava. By force painting meaning, I'm not really sure if this golem was meant to be a lava golem. So I use the textures on the miniature to like guide me in the painting of the lava. And by force, I mean I'm actually forcing it to look like lava even though we don't have really deep crevices or cracks to easily paint lava. Key to any flame or lava or any glowing effect is not actually the technique or even the tools that you use. Key to painting this very nice effects are the actual colors that you use on the miniature. You see in the video that I'm using like the airbrush and did an underpainting of dark blue and now we're doing oil washes. So basically, I'm combining different types of paint, different tools like the airbrush and the brush, and even contrast paint a bit later. So meaning, it doesn't really matter what paints you use. It doesn't matter how you apply those paints. What matters most is the selection of the actual colors. However, of course, we use the airbrush like the dark blue paint from Cuttlefish Colors doesn't need thinning. So I use it because it's easier to airbrush. And of course, I need a dark blue underpainting. As for the oil wash, oil washes are the best washes. They kind of like really flow really well on the surface of the miniature, especially if you have a gloss coat. Now you see I'm using Baal Red for our base color. So basically, I chose colors or paints or type of paints that would make the painting of this mini a bit more efficient. Now we're trying to like push the contrast of the lava effect by painting more lighter colors which will make it like glow a bit more. So we start with an orange paint. I think this is orange fire and then we paint it along some selected details of the miniature. Key here is to focus all of this painting so that your attention is focused towards the face of the mini. Meaning you paint more highlights, you paint more glow towards the face. Again, like I said earlier, although you see me here using an airbrush, basically I just want an efficient way to make the orange glow because if I stipple or like do fat glazes, it will take a bit more time. So I'm, I'm like going for efficiency here, but it doesn't really matter if you use the airbrush or not. What really matters here is the selection of the colors. Do not worry about blending all these colors since we're using just basic recipe for the flame like a red, orange, red, and then a bit of orange, and then now we're going to add more yellow, and then ice yellow at the end. Now we're painting with ice yellow, although with cuttlefish, it's called tainted snow. You see in the video that after painting ice yellow or tainted snow, it actually glows or it looks like it's glowing already. Because key here is to paint less and less areas as you paint lighter colors. Now we add more contrast. Notice here that I'm going to use a very dark blue color. Of course, you could use black, but black will just give more contrast. By using blue, we're adding more color depth and more color contrast. 
Whenever you're painting a miniature, and especially if you want it to look a bit more complex than the usual speed painting or army painting, make sure that you try to achieve contrast with in terms of the luminance or the brightness and like darkness of the miniature, and also try to achieve color contrast and add more color depth. More colors, more color depth, the more complex looking your miniature will be and it will make you look like a better painter. <laughs> I think I explain all these concepts better via my PDFs and longer videos at Patreon. So if you like this video and you want to support my channel, do check out my Patreon page and do consider being a patron of one of the most active Patreon pages around. Now you could see the actual effect of the underpainting earlier which is the dark blue and then the painting of the glowing areas of the foot which give us so much contrast, color depth, and of course the usual contrast. Now it's time to thank all my awesome patrons. Without these guys, this channel won't be possible. Also, a ton of thanks to RM Printable for sponsoring this miniature and this video. I hope you saw in this video like the buildup of the colors from the dark blue underpainting and then the oil wash as our underpainting or base for the base color which is the battle red. And then from there we just build up and paint lighter colors, orange fire and then orange glow and then yellow of course and then end it up with ice yellow or tainted snow. So although you saw that I use an airbrush, I use like an oil wash, well basically different tools and techniques to come up or to finish up this mini, it doesn't really matter what techniques or tools you use. What I chose here is just to make the painting a bit more efficient. But you could like do away with just brush painting all the way from start to finish. The most important thing with any lava effects painting, flame, or like a glowy OSL of magic stuff and colors is the selection of the actual colors. With the right collection of colors or paints, you will produce like a glowing effect effortlessly. So I hope you liked the video. That's it Pansit. 